Well, hi everybody, it's me, Eric, and I want to welcome you to week four of our Sunday night family worship. So over the past month, we've been discovering who God is and what he's like. And today we're gonna shift our focus a little bit to learn something incredible about God's most special creation, human beings. But first, a quick fact for you. Did you know that several thousand years ago, in the part of the world known as the ancient Near East, a king would often set up an image or a statue of himself to show his rule over an area. In fact, he would often put many statues that looked like him all around his land. For example, one over. Here is an example of what the statue or image of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon might have looked like. Or this one of King Gudea of Samaria, all right? And thanks, Essie. And these would communicate to everyone who the land belonged to. Well, just like these kings would create images of themselves, did you know that God, the true king of the universe, the greatest king of all, actually did the same thing? But he didn't put his image on a statue. He put his image in you and in me. He created all of mankind in his image. And guess what? Nothing else in all of creation was created in God's likeness. So that means you're pretty special. And just like those statues of old told everyone in the land which king was in charge, we can actually look at one another and remember who is really in charge of this world, King Jesus. Well, I can't wait to dive into today's catechism question and learn more about God's special creation, people. So let's get started by singing together, adding the final verse of the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God. How and why did God create us? 
God created us, male and female, in His own image, His own image, to glorify Him. Okay, gardeners, uh, we're on a new week of our catechism, okay? What's so, the catechism? Where we learn, where we ask a question and learn a truth about who God is. That's a good question. Okay, so would someone pray for us? Just pray that the Holy Spirit would help us to know truth and that we would have soft hearts to hear God's truth? I can do it. Thank you. Okay. Father God, we just ask that you would be present with us in this time of catechism. I pray that we would learn much and seek you. Um, I pray that we would understand um, what is being taught to us, and if we don't understand, that we would be willing to come before others and before you and ask questions. I pray that this would be a fruitful time for all of us, and that we would all enjoy being together and with you. Um, Thanks, Bree. So, our catechism question is, how and why did God create us? So, how and why did God create us? And the answer is God created us male and female in his image to glorify him. So when people talk about how uh, they got here, what do they say? So how did they say humans got to be living on earth? Okay, they would say that we came from apes. And what's that called? Evolution. Evolution. How else would they say that we got here? Blast into the world. Okay. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Like there was just like some type of an explosion. Good. That we maybe we're even accidentally created. God created us because He wants people in His world. Okay, so God created us is what the Bible says. Do you guys know where you would find that in your Bibles? Where would we find that? The answer to that. In Genesis. In Genesis. So we're going to be in Genesis chapter one, verses twenty-six through thirty-one. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. They will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, the whole earth, and the creatures that crawl on the earth. So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them, male and female. Okay, thank you, Rach. Okay, so what things stick out to you as we read those verses? It's interesting that God uh, created man. Okay, so man is created in God's image. I think it's always interesting that God says, let us make man in our image, mm -hmm. not just my image, but our image. Why does that stick out to you, Daddy? Because God is identifying himself as more than one person. Yeah, and that was one of our other catechism questions, right? How many persons are there in God? There are three persons in God. I think the few gates let us in that category. Good, excellent. Okay, so Brianna pointed out image of God, that we're created in the image of God. But what is uh, different about being a person, a human, than some of the other things that God created? So maybe grass. What's different, different between you and grass? Grass has like sticky things up and we um, like have other things that don't stick up. 
Okay. We have other things that don't. Yes. Good. Good. Excellent. We have hearts and souls. Good. We have a will. We have a will. We make decisions. We can they, talk. And they, we can talk. We can communicate. They still, they stay still, and we move. Okay, we'll be able to move around. And we love God, and they don't really. Yeah, we have the ability to love. Does grass talk to you? Someone said that we talk. No. So we communicate. Um, does grass want to go to church and hang out with other believers? <laughs> no. No. So we're relational and grass isn't. Sometimes I kiss grass. Oh. <laughs> does, uh, does grass get sad when something happens? No. No, but do you guys get sad when bad things happen? Yeah. Yeah, or when you get hurt? And is God sad sometimes? Yeah. 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 So grass is not created in the image of God, <laughs> but Josh and Bella and Brianna and Rachel and Daddy and Olivia and Mommy are. Okay? So that last part of our question, or our answer actually, do you remember what it was? Created in the image of God and what? To glorify Him. So in week six, a couple questions down the road, we're going to talk about what, how you guys can so that's the end of our time tonight. Well, how does it feel to know that you aren't an accident and that God has given you such value and dignity by making you in His image? Well, I hope that you enjoy the next few minutes with your family as you open up God's Word and you just spend time with Him in prayer. So now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a living room full of energetic kiddos of my own to get back to. So I'll see you again next week for another Sunday night family worship.